Lions Rock Productions. We have the problem of like there's no DNA and you have star evidence you're talking about so we can get to this DNA. And so is the star evidence the fact that the code is, is I guess, not broken because it was already kind of broken before, but rebroken and completely broken now. Yeah. Once we had Gary right. Post's name. Is there right. anything else that's star evidence that you guys have in well, your you know, possession now? It's more than just to, um, it's you know, our first witness, you know, who said that, look, I think this is a guy I've known in my whole life, you know, or, or most of my life. You know, that was our first star piece that, that said, took a look at it. But the real key was using the name and, and looking at the cipher. And again, you can't just take a look at the letters themselves. You really got to look at every piece that he sent in because there was pieces to the cipher on them outsides of the envelope. And a lot of code breakers don't know that. And that's part of the, you know, again, as, as you're signing your name, there's different pieces that you, that he's going to do that with. And he's using some standard, you know, it's not standard code. I mean, he really, they get more, they get more intricate and more difficult the more they go. But even after you translate those letters, he doesn't say anything other than throwing out teasers to the, to the police and taunting them and things like that. Even the last one, the most difficult one, it was just some innocuous, uh, you know, garbage about you'll never catch me, ha ha ha, that kind of stuff. And, you know, but, but so the only really good piece of evidence with those letters is the fact that you're using this guy's name to break it. Right. And that just, you know, that just doesn't happen. When the guy signs his name in code on every letter consistently, then you got it. <laughs> 